It's been a long, a long time coming, but I know change gonna come. Oh yes, it will. I love that song by Sam Cooke. Change gonna come, and I was thinking about change. Y'all know how it goes. Whenever the new year comes. But every once in a while you do want to change and women are notorious for that when it comes to their hair. Nothing's been done. I've been doing some lock repair. Y'all see this lock? So let me tell you the story behind this lock. I was trying to separate this lock. You know, split it. And those of you who don't know about splitting locks, when you think a lock is too fat or you just want to split it and make it two locks, what you would do is- you Take one, you separate it at the root, and then you take the end of your lock and go over and through it or you can go from the bottom I just went from the top you just repeat this step until you're close enough to your root but not too close because you don't want it to be tight and that's pretty much it you can see that two locks will form over time So yeah, I was trying to split the lock, right? And it just so happened that I end up snipping apart and it just got thinner in that area. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna combine it back. I'm just going to sew this lock together. I haven't done it yet, but I'm gonna do that. Just blend it right in, blend that little bad boy in. So that's it for that lock. It is what it is. <laughs> Now for all the locks that I have sewn together, they are still going strong. I have twisted them, curled them, plaited them, washed them, and nothing has unraveled. This is one of them in the back. Yeah, I'll show some close-ups. There they are. Yeah, still doing great. Oh, I did forget to mention that I have been on a lock rest since November of last year, so I just finished my third month and during this time I started to use 100% Jamaican black castor oil and I mean the real deal. Straight from Jamaica it has that really like raw nutty smell but then mm, it's not a smell that you can really just get used to like that. And it's not for everybody. Some people may be allergic to it, even coconut oil. I always like encourage people to just find what oil works for you, there are others like olive oil grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, good almond oil, so much to choose from. But it's great to find what works for you and stick to it. Really quick, I wanted to mention that I did wash my hair this morning, so what you see now is damp hair. And I did do a bit of lock popping, just to help with the separation and to keep my locks from marrying. The only other thing I'm seriously thinking about adding to my regimen is rose water. I've heard it does such wonders for locks, so once I get it, I'll definitely let you know how that goes. Um, other than that, that's it for this video. If I've missed anything, I'll update you in another hair video. But until next time, thank you all so much for watching. See you all in my next video. Oh, and Happy New Year. Can't forget that. Hope you have a blessed one. Oh, mm -hmm.